in this lecture we are going to talk about collection expressions in c sharp now collection expressions were introduced in c sharp 12 and collection expressions provide concise initialization of enumerable types so we use square brackets to initialize collections and it supports spread operator okay so now we'll go through our visual studio solution so we are working on the same we're going to continue working on the same priority queue demo uh, it's not priority queue demo anymore but anyway i have for the sake of uh, convenience i have used the same solution without renaming it but you know i have created another class collection expression example and i'll make it public Public class collection expression example. Now you could choose uh, some other name for the when you created the solution. You could have named it like advanced collection samples to make it more generic because we are going to, I mean, two more type of things. One is the collection expression, and uh, in the next lecture, I will be covering an inline array example, which is also a new thing. All right. So um getting back to our powerpoint slideshow um is a simple code example collection expression code example list of integer which is number initialized list of integer numbers is uh, this is the integer array one two three and a list of integer combined this is called spread operator two dots then list one dot dot list two five and then console dot write line string dot join this and combined so if you uh, run this application and the console dot write line statement will write uh, will what it will um, write we'll see soon on the visual studio example okay so let's get back to visual studio again and this time in this collection expression example i will just spread it expand to get more real estate within this class and i will write a private static void a static method again which returns void nothing So a console dot write line statement says basic collection expression, and I will make this as static class as well, so that it doesn't require any instantiation. So I created another public static void, static void function which is public and its name is run examples like previous. Here also we have created a priority queue example main. So and it is calling all these three methods as we have seen in the previous lecture. Now here I have just written one example. So now you can see uh, it is all highlighted. You know. Uh, earlier it was all grayed because it was not being called so that's why it was all grayed now in the program.cs what i can write i will just comment it out this part comment it out and console.writing right line
and then call this class collection expressions example dot run examples okay at the moment there is just one example of a basic collection expression example which initialize a array of uh, a list of uh, uh, numbers an integer type integer list of numbers which is an array and console dot write time this is the new uh, collection expression string dot join so when you write like this see the output so the output is demonstrating collection class basic collection expression 1 2 3 4 5 now those of you who are senior developers who have been um, working with c sharp for a number of years you see that you didn't have such a facility in earlier versions of c sharp where you needed to extract all these numbers print out the list of numbers which is an array uh, you had to use a for loop or a for each loop but no more okay so this has facilitated writing uh, the printing out the string of or array of numbers of list type you know without using for each or for loop Now, I will write another method from my clipboard. Demonstrate spread operator. You know, console.write line spread operator in collection expressions. So, there are two lists, list 1 and list 2 of type int. One has got an array of numbers 1, 2, 3 and another is and another array 4, 5, 6 and then there is a combined list which uses spread operator dot dot list 1 dot dot list 2 and Plus two additional elements seven eight. So console dot write line string dot join. Then join um, this combined list with uh, this comma. Okay. Now I will call this also. So this one is also grade. You can see. So this is a new feature with Visual Studio, the latest version. So now demonstrate spread operator so if i call this now this will be again highlighted so this is in action now this is this can be used so now if i run this example clicking this green arrow you can see spread operator in collection expressions 1 2 3 to 8 okay so everything is now combined Finally, we come to showing you the um, custom collections. Now, custom collection is a bit more complicated. I will explain it in a sec. Now, let us explain the provided code example step by step while addressing the dual implementation of get, in, get enumerator. So, this is a dual implementation of get enumerator method. So, in this uh, um, static method which it is void and null demonstrate custom collection um, my list custom list equals within is an array of alpha beta and gamma the my list class supports initialization this is the my list class this supports initialization via collection expression because of this collection builder attribute this points to my list builder dot create method so what is my list dot create method this is again it is a static class internal static class which is accessible to uh, within this assembly all the classes within this assembly my list builder class this my list builder class has got a create method which converts the collection expression into a my list instance so it is new my list my list instance it is uh, converting the collection expression to now let's see how we iterate over the customs collection so in this case this part the for each loop works because the my list class implements the i enumerable of string so i enumerable of string 
it implements my list class is implementing i enumerable string interface okay now this loop internally calls the get enumerator to retrieve an enumerator for the collection i am coming to both of these two implementations one is for um, type safe or generic implementation and this is for non generic implementation so the first method this public i enumerated of string get enumerator it implements a strongly typed enumeration because it's of type t okay and it allows the for each var item in custom list to work without needing to cast elements for example string in this case now this second method this one is non generic i enumerator type it returns i enumerable dot get enumerator again it points to item dot get enumerators this is non generic and it implements i enumerable which is a non generic base interface of i enumerable t t type specific type and it ensures backward compatibility with older api or frameworks that expect non generic collection now how the iteration works in for each so once again coming to this for each the compiler checks whether the collection implements i enumerable t which is the generic implementation or i enumerable which is the non generic so it internally checks the compiler internally checks whether this for each loop implements this the generic implementation or the non generic implementation it calls the appropriate get enumerator method either this one or this one okay now what is the lowest role of this my list builder so public static my list create read only span so my list builder this class and it has got this create method it constructs a new my list type from a collection of strings provided in the read only span of string now the collection builder attribute this collection builder attribute links this method this create method to my list allowing collection expressions like alpha beta gamma to work seamlessly now what is the real world importance this dual implementation ensures that your custom collection is versatile and works seamlessly with both modern generic and legacy non generic code bases making it a robust design for production use 